Alright, what up y'all? It's Metaphor. Rapper says never want to see you and I first. So I gotta do a part two for the moon of Aries for the seventh through twelfth houses. And just to finish up the sixth house, it's the routine and pattern. So you're having a taking charge, having a feeling of taking charge upon your routine and pattern, your health, and your critique and your details and things like that of your life. So for the seventh house, it'll be a taking charge of your relationship. Should you continue to relate in this certain type of way or should I show other people to relate in a certain type of way that I am and say like, okay, this is the right circumstance of how to relate and things like that. This would be for the Libra rising. And then for the eighth house, this will be for the Virgo rising. So it'll be like your behind the scenes secrets, things that you don't want to bring to the forefront all the time. You know, you're going to be taking charge of organizing that behind the scenes secrets and things that you want to, you know, keep, you know, in the closet, like keep it, whatever you have in that's a skeleton in the closet, you're going to be dealing with that and taking charge upon that. So with the ninth house, this will be for the Leo rising. You'll be taking charge upon your knowledge and wisdom and the way that you relate with other people in their, you know, in the way that you, you know, travel in the mind, so to speak. You relate and where you want to travel mentally is what I mean to say. Excuse me. So... With Aries being here, it's going to be initiating, creating a new way of seeing and feeling. And it'll be in the emotion. So seeing and feeling the emotion and where you can actually go mentally and taking charge of that knowledge and wisdom. So do you want to express this knowledge and wisdom or do you want to stick with this knowledge and wisdom? Where are you going to travel, so to speak? This could actually be your real travel accommodations to get to certain places. You're going to be taking charge of that as well. So with the 10th house will be your status, your business, and the way that you're seen, you know, in the, uh, you know, the economic ladder, so to speak. So take charge of your business here, Cancer Rising. This would be for your 10th house and the way that you go about your status. So are you going to take charge of your status in your business? Or are you kind of just going to let it fall apart and fall to the wayside because you feel moody about it? Yeah, I'm not going to go too far into it with you because you know what I'm talking about. So the Gemini rising, this will be the 11th house. And this will be taking charge of your emotions regarding to your group and the way that you associate. You know, is this individual an actual just an associate or can they move to your 7th house? You'll be taking charge of which people are just associates and things like that. So for the 12th house, this will be your dreams, illusions, and nightmares. Taking charge of your dream, illusion, and nightmare. This will be for the Taurus rising. So... Is this a dream that you can actually invest in and where you can actually, you know, whenever it comes to that, uh, you know, your first house in that Taurus rising, is this actually going to help you out personally? Is this the dream that you can invest in? Things like that. Or are you just in an illusion and it's just an illusory dream? So, yeah. Peace out. It's the little part two.